We all know how important protein is when it comes to building muscle, but not knowing the difference between the types of protein can mean a lot of wasted dollars and a lot of wasted effort in the gym. What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. I wanted to go over something important today with you guys, and it was something really, really basic. It's protein. Now, as I mentioned in the open, we all know how important protein is when it comes to building muscle, but there are different types and sources of protein that can make a big, big difference depending upon where you're going to get your protein each and every day. So really what I want to do is just break it down for you and show you why, so you understand what this all means when it talks about good sources of protein versus maybe not the best sources of protein. First and foremost, we have two main sources we can go to, animal and vegetarian or vegetable sources. In our animal sources, you know all the main culprits here, meat, beef, poultry like chicken and turkey, fish, anything animal derived, milk, eggs, yogurt or pork, right? We know those. I'm going to tell you the main difference between that in a second. Next though, vegetables, we have legumes or beans, grains like wheat, nut butters, peanut butter, things like that, seeds or nuts themselves, okay? But well, the main difference here is that vegetarians often have a hard time getting enough protein because the vegetarian sources are incomplete protein. Now what do I mean by that? A complete protein is one that has all nine of the essential amino acids that our body needs in the right proportion. So what are those nine amino acids? Let me see if I can think back to my chemistry days, but we have one called threonine, then we have uh, histidine, lysine, our branch chain amino acids, valine, leucine, Isoleucine. What do I got? Three more. Methionine. With cysteine. Phenylalanine and taurine. And number nine. Three names, this name does it. Uh, tryptophan. That goes way back in chemistry school right there for me to remember that. But anyway, here's the main point. A complete protein has all of these things in equal in, in the amounts that they need to be in order to serve as a complete protein. So all those meat sources, all those, all those non-vegetarian sources, they all have these in those amounts. So now, the, the next thing we're going to consider is how bioavailable it is and how digestible it is. That's a different argument. But for now, the problem is that our vegetarian sources don't. They're incomplete. They have certain things, like a lot of times your grains will be high in methionine here, but they'll be low in leucine or low in lysine. Okay? So what we have to do is combine them. So you can take an incomplete protein and you can make a complete protein based on the combining of these. So now you can take a, uh, a grain which is, again is a high, high of a thionine like rice and combine it with beans and the beans are going to have and pick up the slack of the leucine that the, the grain may not have. Same thing again, peanut butter and uh, on, a whole wheat, on a whole wheat bread. The whole wheat will be high in a thionine but low in these two but your peanut butter will be able to pick up the slack here and may not necessarily be so high here. So this whole thing about food combining and, and combining even vegetarian sources of protein, we do that in the, in the X Factor meal plans in Athlete X. I don't want you to have to think about all this because it can become confusing and you can be left with an insufficient supply of protein because you're making the wrong choices or you're taking two proteins that are high in methionine, two grains, but you're not complementing it with something that's going to be uh, uh, higher in, in the other elements, especially the branched chain amino acid here, to be able to pick up the slack. All right. So all of that kind of shows you that, yes, you can get complete proteins 
in your diet and most likely is going to come from an animal source. But you can make it a hell of a lot easier if sometimes you rely on some of the things that we know are complete proteins that are easy to find and a lot of times that is our supplement. So if you look at our list over here, we have PDCAA, it's a protein digestibility, um, something of amino acids, it's like the compatibility, they, they, changed, they did a scale here, you can look this up though, PDCAAS, and basically it shows you what the highest bioavailability is of a protein. And right at the top of the list here you have casein, which we do include in Athlean RX3, which is reconstruction. You have egg whites, which are always a staple of what we do. A lot of times I recommend them as part of the Athlean X Factor meal plans. Scrambled egg whites in the morning with salsa. Okay, Soy protein, we know again it's a high digestibility, good source of protein. Not so great for guys, but again it is, it is up there. Whey protein, we all know whey protein and how important that can be. Whey protein is on this list again as a 1.0, which is the highest it can be in terms of digestibility and availability. And then you've got your beef, you've got things like chickpeas that fall below, black beans, peanuts, whole wheat bread, brown rice. Brown rice is at 0.40, you know, compared to, again, these, these whey protein sources here. So, again, it underscores if we combine the brown rice at 0.40 with our uh, black beans at 0.75, it gives us a complete protein that adds up. And it, and, it, and it becomes actually digestible and, and a, an available source of protein. So what I'm, sh what I'm trying to show you here is that sometimes relying on our whey proteins or relying on our casein proteins can be a big, big help to trying to get the most protein in during the day without having to worry about all the science behind combining these things together. So wherever it is, guys, whatever it is that you rely on, whether it be supplements, whether it be Athlean RX, or whether it be even just through your diet, just make sure you have a good understanding and a good grasp of the difference between your animal sources of protein and your vegetable sources of protein. And if you're doing that, how you're combining it all, because in the end, that's what really matters the most. Guys, if you haven't already, come on board Team Athlean. If you don't want to be a chemist, if you don't want to have to worry about anything I just said or pronounce even a single word of what I just said, you can get it all laid out for you already in the Athlean X Factor meal plans. It's 90 days of everything that you need to know. Uh, from start to finish, literally meal by meal. Guys, it is, uh, it is getting close to summer here, as I always say in these videos now. I think I try to underscore, if you want to look good, a lot of it happens with what you do in the gym here, but also what you do in the kitchen behind the plate. You better eat right if you want to look right. And that's what we're trying to put together here for you. So come on board, Team Athlean. We'll be back here again next week with another video. Thanks again, guys. See you soon.